So, this nostalgia is... This is the blue beanbag chair. Which Paul wants to make a disclaimer that he has no... I don't have any fond memories. I know I really wanted one. And I think it was just a uh, a phase or whatnot uh, with him. But I really wanted one. And he got one uh, for Christmas right after he got his own room. I think it's like Paul said in the other nostalgia. It's just a way of sneaking a very utilitarian gift like the badminton set. <laughs> and just basically taking that out of... They had an allotted amount of gift money every Christmas. Each of us got whatever was in the budget. A hundo. Usually a hundo. I think one or two good years, a hundo fifty. Um, and so Paul's, because they played in t one of their phases was when the, sh you know, um, <laughs> hey Minnie, when the um, remodeling of our house was done, they uh, played interior uh, decorators to finish off each room, like, doing color schemes, and I guess a lot of people do that, do it that way, I guess, but they snuck in a beanbag chair that Paul, up until five minutes ago, I thought, lived in, but I remember every time he had a friend come over, they'd be sitting in it, every time I visited his, his room, which to me was always, like, a treat, it was like a VIP club that I had to consistently <laughs> regain access to. I would plop myself in that beanbag chair. It was really comfy, really, really comfy, and it made a great sound, which I can't describe but can sort of remember, <laughs> the sort of sinking in sound, and I was going to keep it when Paul left, and they were clearing out his room. I was going to keep it, but it had so many leaks and just was in such bad condition. And, um, yeah, I just... It was always that. treated like a hundred dollar piece of furniture. It probably oh, cost them right. like thirty like, I bucks. Would jump, I would jump back into yeah. it, or Paul would. And we got yelled at for that. I forgot <laughs> about that. For using a beanbag chair. Yeah, and that was the whole point of it. I just love loved sitting in that t so much, so to the point that uh, until I quit at Microsoft, I would go hang out with someone who worked on one of the office floors and had a beanbag chair next to her cubicle, and I would just laze in that. Especially uh, during days that I was drinking on the job. 